In this video, I will be demonstrating about position track produce and consume object from machine builder libraries. A quick overview. The produce and consume objects are used to actuate an output device based on item's position on a moving system like conveyor. Tracking of an item starts with produce instruction execution. As shown here, the product sensor triggers the produce object when a product is detected. The produce object logs an event in the event queue with data like ID, position and user data. The consume instruction monitors for an event with relevant ID that is configured in the object. When the event is found with matching ID, the user data is passed on to out data and the item position is tracked. The tracking of the item ends when it reaches the position trigger set point. The out data information and status bits can be used to trigger an output like solenoid wall or pending cam sequence. An application can have multiple producers and consumers grouped as one producer, one consumer or one producer and multiple consumers. As shown here, a single produce event can be consumed by many consumers like glue and label at different locations on a conveyor. I have an application example shown here. A product sensor logic scans the length of the product and decides if it is to be accepted or rejected. If accepted, the product is applied glue, whereas if not, then rejected from conveyor. The product position and length captured by the product sensor are passed on as user data in the event. The product sensor logic has two produce objects, one for product OK and another for reject. These objects have their own ID as 1000 and 2000. Depending on the product result, the respective produce object is triggered and event is logged. The reject mechanism consume object is configured to track events with ID 2000 and glue mechanism with ID 1000. There are 5 products on the conveyor with 5th one being sensed by product sensor and even getting logged. The glue consume object is tracking the product number 1 and the reject consume object tracking product number 4. These objects are independent in operation and not interlocked thus giving flexibility in application to handle multiple products or events independently. The produce and consume objects can be used in wide range of applications like material handling, packaging and many more. I have a demo built here based on the application we discussed earlier. The simulation routine simulates product of different sizes. From the simulation code, the produce object receives the trigger along with product length and product OK or reject status. The actual position of conveyor and product length are passed on as input data to be captured in the event. The product sensor is considered to be set at 100mm on the conveyor. So I have set the config location of produce object as 100. The config ID of product OK produce is set as 1000 and reject as 2000. Both the produce objects are logging event in the same tracking queue. I'll open the consume routine. Here we have two consume logic, one for reject and another for glue. The reject mechanism is considered to be set at 250mm on the conveyor and configured to track event with ID 2000. The status PC bit and timer logic are used to trigger the output. Consume object can be commanded to skip the product it's tracking using command skip parameter. To compensate for the actuation delay of output device like solenoid wall, use the speed comp parameter. This will advance the status PC bit by set time so actuation delay is compensated. In the glue consume logic, I have configured the location as 400 and ID as 1000. 
Here we use the product position and product length from the out data to calculate the actuation zone of the glue nozzle output. In the HMI, I have an animation to show the product and also tracking status. I'll start the conveyor now. You can see the product being produced. The green ones are to be applied glue and the red ones to be rejected. The green or red dot in the bottom shows the product being tracked by glue or reject consume object. You can see that when a green object is sent, the event is produced and glue consume object starts tracking the same. The glue output will actuate based on the product position and product length. A similar behavior is seen with the red object in the rejection mechanism. These two buttons are used to command the glue and rejection consume object to skip the product being tracked. You will notice that when I trigger the skip glue button, the consume object will stop tracking and glue output will not be turned on. I'll click the button. You see the tracking bit has vanished and the output is not turned on. I'll demonstrate the same on reject object. You can see the reject mechanism didn't turn on and the product has moved on the conveyor. Another feature is the config location. The consume and produce objects can adapt to the change in location with this configuration. Let's change the glue nozzle location to 300. First I'll turn off the glue consume logic. Now change the location as 300 and turn on the logic. You will notice the glue nozzle will work based on the new location. In this section, I'll demonstrate how to instantiate produce and consume object in application code manager. The ACM already has machine library registered. You need to download the library from Rockwell Automation product compatibility and download center page. I have already created a project, added a controller and program. To add the object, right click on the program and click add new. I'll enter position in the filter. Select the produce object and click next. We will enter the name of the object as product sensor produce. This is the tracking axis name. Choose true if you want ACM to create this axis. This is the tag name for tracking queue. We can leave it default. We will select true to create this tag. This is the tag mapped to the input data parameter. Click next. In the link library, click auto create to create the asset control object. Click finish. Now we have the produce object added. To add consume object, right click on the program and click add new. Enter position in the filter. Select the consume object and click next. We will name the object as glue consume. The tracking axis name should match the produce object. Also the tracking queue. This is the tag mapped to the out data parameter in the consume object. Click next. Click auto create to create the asset control object. Click finish. Now we have added both produce and consume objects into our project. To understand further about generating the code and extracting attachments, watch the basics of ACM workflow video series. For more information, download machine builder libraries from Rockwell Automation website. Thanks for watching the video.